beat. Yes, Mr. Lee. We've got to do a pedal video. Have we? Do you want to use a guitar? I certainly do. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another episode of Anderton's TV uh, with myself, the captain. And me, Danish Pete. And please like and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and click the pop-up banner for more videos like this. Ah, that was, that was like, that was, just, that was, that was, that was did we rehearse that? I don't know, I've um, lost too anyway, much power. Wow. Today's video is going to look at a pedal, a new pedal from the guys at Origin Effects called the Revival Drive Compact Hot Rod. Hmm. Um, and as it says on the tin, it is a compact version of the Revival Drive, the, the bigger one, uh, and a hot rodded version at that. Yeah. Um, Which well, they brought out recently, didn't they? Sorry to interrupt. They brought the big version, the hot rod version, out of the big pedal out, I think, last year. So now they've you know, made it into a smaller box because the compact pedal, which I've used on my board, is just great. And it yes. works well with the Dane for me. It's like, boom, there I'm very are, excited about this. There are a trifecta of different ways of using this pedal. And we're going to dive into a couple of those today. <laughs> so Pete uses this pedal, uh, or the normal Revival Drive, um, on his board as a conventional pedal yeah. in a chain with other pedals, no problem at all. Um, you can also use it because, because it has kind of amp and even some sort of power amp style emulation within it. You can run this into the effects return of a guitar amplifier. Um, you can run it into a flat response power amplifier if you want mm -hmm. to and into a normal guitar cabs um, or into a cabinet emulation device like yeah. this two notes cab M here. Mm -hmm. So you're going to hear two basic sounds during this video. One is uh, plugged in here. If the green light is on, I don't know if you can see the green light actually. No, you can't see it. It's not on screen, so I won't uh, say fine. that. Uh, I've got an AB box over here, so if you see my hand go uh, into the distance, that's what I'm switching. <laughs> um, and um, Nothing else. <laughs> one of the signals just takes the pedal straight into the front of Pete's DP40, so that's like operating in normal pedal mode. Yeah. And the other takes the output into this two notes cab M and straight into our desk. So that'll be like an emulated sound that you could use live or in recording if you wanted yeah. to just go straight into the desk. Exactly. Okay, let's go, let's get some tones. Uh, just so you know, the um, switch down here that you'll see me adjust when we switch from the amp to the desk uh, is a sort of a, a post drive EQ setting. So the top mode, P, dash amp power amp that's what we're going to be using when we're plugged into here yeah um and if you were going straight into a flat response power amp that's yep. where you'd run it eq1 is for amps that are perhaps um a little bit brighter sounding with more of a scooped mid-range sort of a fender type uh, amp right yeah yep. and eq2 is for a darker sounding amplifier so perhaps that's i don't know ac30 and yeah. then you've got this um trim pot here to fine tune exactly where you get the best match with your amplifier we've already done that yep. for these amps and that's a nice little switch that that's quite that's you once you set that you said yeah, to get it because you can't knock can't that. Can't knock that it is, by mistake. No, it's a fairly heavy you know, friction on there. So let's hear some That's tones. We, uh, yes. Output, high gain, uh, a mix between the dry and the over and sound, a low control and a sort of a presence control on the end yeah. here. So you can see where everything's set on there. And the amp is set completely flat and clean. In yes. fact, this is what the amp sounds like. On oh, the neck pickup. And this is a very delicious, uh, heavy relict uh, 1961 Stratomacaster 
Look at that, with the gold hardware, pearl tuners. Look at the leg on this, look at it. Where did they get the gold hardware, Where did they get the idea? Tuner? Where did we get the idea for make one of these know. guitars anyway, like this? Anyway, here we are so, uh, with the settings as they were for that little opening piece. Sounds they get wicked. The, they get the clipping so natural sounding. It's... Rather than just aimlessly noodle around, there are some um, sample settings here from, from uh, Origin. So we might as well go straight with these. We're going to use the strap for a couple. We use the Les Paul for a couple. Delicious. Um, we, this first one is called Modded Plexi. Now, I suppose the Plexi is probably ultimately the sort of, you know, the, 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 the most iconic Marshall sounding amplifier. So let's see how close we can get Pete's uh, very not <laughs> modded plexi to sound like a modded plexi with this pedal. That's right. Go. That sounds great, that sounds doesn't it? <laughs> Let's literally jump to this for each setting. I love it's going to be easier, I think, to... Oh, that's a good idea, yes. So, Lee, where do you come up with all I this don't stuff know. from? So how, now, do you, how do you think about these so, things? So I've switched to the Cab M. The Cab M is using a 212 uh, cabinet from the, the Two Notes preset pack called Eddie. Yeah. So I think, you know, it's a good one to do like a modded plexi with. So hopefully it's like a Van Halen-y kind of thing. But I know it's not, a, we'll stay with the Strat. Yeah. Um, I'll switch this to its power amp uh, mode, which is where it wants to be, but mm -hmm. I won't change anything else. We can adjust the taste in a second, but now you're hearing this literally straight through uh, the desk. We're hearing it through some um, uh, monitor speakers in the room. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, through uh, through that, it sounds great. I mean, I'm I'm an amp man, you know. It's, it's different. We're hearing monitors in here, it, but it sounds great. It's always, I think, when you when you you sit in a room with studio monitors versus the um, yeah uh, the uh, two twelve, it's that everything is just a different kind of vibe, isn't yeah. it? But yeah. actually, again, the gain structure, the feel, it the, feels the, great, man. Yeah, sorry, I like I'm, that. I'm, I'm right. I'm excited. Uh, next, so let's <laughs> jump back to uh, Pete's. Uh, regular amplifier and now we will try this setting called Liverpool Hot Rod which is supposed to now try and go a bit voxy oh. so let's see um, are you gonna play some uh, Beatles style tunes for us Pete? <laughs> That's Here a clean just for reference. Ooh, well it is but maybe turn it down a bit because it's quite loud. <laughs> Huh? That well-known Liverpudlian songwriter, Brian Adams. Uh, Brian Adams, like man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just, I just thought because as soon as you said AC30 and I have a strat, I thought that's like a, you know, that's like you a can King do Scott that, kind absolutely. of thing, isn't it? I'm just going to, I find this dry to overdrive mix control a really effective way. I love that. Some, I've seen that before and obviously the, the, it's easy to understand what's happening between blending between a completely dry signal and an overdriven signal. But I often find with some pedals, I don't like it so much when you start to hear the two distinct sounds. I, and I don't think the, the Origin Drive does that. It still blends the sound. Yes. And it just, but it cleans it up. So in fact, if I go between, if you can listen, here's a fairly heavily overdriven sound.
Yeah, so it's, it works really well, it's, doesn't it's, it? I, I don't know if I've conveyed that, you know, what, what I feel terribly well there, but it's just, <laughs> I've, I've tried other pedals where, again, it's like, it's all in a slightly unpleasant way you're sort of hearing this very overdriven sound this very clean sound layered up and that this this doesn't seem to be making it I sound I know like what you that mean. I know what you mean. so what you can do is you can use that blend control in conjunction with the gain control to get all kinds of different gain levels and I was thinking if you were a bit of a fan of a cleaner AC30 sound it's still a very effective pedal for that kind of vibe so if you play a bit sort of in so that's, that's off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so let's. Uh, I'll just go back to that original <laughs> yeah, setting. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The setting that was on here, and we'll jump back over now to hearing this through. What I really should do is utilize the app on my telephone here to find an AC30 sound. Oh, here not we go. Sound, now you know, he's an getting AC30 a cabinet. cabinet. Right, I've loaded in basically an AC30 pair of uh, speakers out of the cab M. So we've switched it over to its power amp mode, which is, you know, so it's, it knows now that it's basically not going into a regular guitar dare. amplifier. <laughs> and, uh, and this is what it sounds like. Naughty, naughty. That sounds great, doesn't it? Does. Oh, just to humour me, put yes. it back into EQ1, go into the amp, and then just see what happens with that sound. That's good. I mean, I always prefer a real amp. Just put it, taking my putting yep. that head on and off. But I mean, it sounds great, man. For putting in, you don't need that cat. You can put it into your de, uh, your door or whatever, and then uh, have an IR loader you, in there. And there's, then yeah, there's that's, lots that's a great of idea with this, isn't it? Loads of different ways to put yeah, cabinet yeah. emulation yeah. onto. Uh, yummy, yummy. Right, hot, I hot. am going to go back to uh, a more conventional style um, gainy cabinet. You know, a cabinet for gain, like a you know a vintage thirty loaded cabinet or something like that. Mm. And then there are some more presets that we're going to hear with this guitar. So the first sound that we are going to hear with the Les Paul is uh, the uh, extremely popular brown sound. <laughs> Obviously, this is like as maxed out plexi now, isn't it? So again, uh, through the this is into the front end of the mm -hmm. DP40. Uh, so we'll go back to EQ1, and this is what it sounds like: clean, well, oh, clean, honky baby. <laughs> and here is the crazy revival. To straight into the door through the the two notes cab M. Uh, let's see if level wise. Here we go. Go on, give it a, a whirl.
Right, last one uh, is described in the uh, Revival Drive manual as California Hot Rod, inspired by the lead tones of Carlos Santana's modded Fender Princeton. Uh, so same as we did before, we're going to give a, a, a whirl through um, the DP40 and then a whirl straight into the desk. Uh, here we go. Um... I think he was playing D, wasn't it? Santana yeah, song very well known Santana uh, album. <laughs> um, and we're not that loud in here. I mean, we're loud, loud, but well, not, what, what not crazy. Put it, it back it was, on. It was about it? 97, 98. Oh, that's like that's that. not loud yeah, at all. Loud. Okay. That's the noise, I've isn't it? I literally just loaded up another 212 cabinet. I can't is this quite a, tell. Is that what, the Santana cab? I think this is called. I Cap think time? this is uh, divided by 13, is it? Or is that yes, that, it looks divided like this. Purple, is it? It, it looks look, does look purple, yes. Anyway, uh, 212 again. So we now have uh, this in its power amp mode going into this, going straight into the desk, and Pete um, playing yeah. his favourite Carlos like Santana riffs. I've got a black magic woman. That's because that's hard, isn't it? So that, ladies and gentlemen, was the Origin Revival Drive like uh, Compact Hot Rod. If you're liking the tones out of there, but thinking, or at least liking the concept of the pedal, but thinking you're perhaps not quite as gainy a guitar player as that, of course, the original one is also available, just the regular Revival Drive, which mm. I'm sure if you go on the tube, uh, you'll find videos of that yeah. too. I did a video you... on that on my channel as well. Okay, so, so that's the out. Danish Pete, Mr. Peter Honore mm. YouTube channel. Yes. Um, so there you go. These are in stock now, I believe. Yeah, they're not cheap. It's over 300 quid, so, um, you know. But Isn't that just what you pay for a sort of top of the you... range pedal nowadays? Everything is made in the UK. Yeah, and handmade in the UK, and feel the feel the weight and the thing of that. It's yeah. proper. But links below solid. for for the revival drive. Links below for the cab M. Mm. E, links below for these guitars. Why not? Anyway, so look, that's it. Enjoy. I let's will go, let's go back. Let's go back. I'll put you back in the amp. Yeah. Uh, I'll put you back on uh, well, some sort of sound rather for Pete. Uh, he can jam us out. Um, and yeah. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Okay. And hi to uh, Hot Rod, my father-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Hot Rod. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.